friends, I am so glad that you're joining me today. Do you know that we're still in the church season of Easter? Easter, can you believe it? Not just one day. In fact, the Easter season is longer than Lent. Did you know that? It's kind of interesting to follow the church calendar and see the different seasons that um, the church has. We're getting ready to go into a really long season, so that will be fun to talk about. Do you remember what we were so excited about on that first Easter? Easter morning, the first day of Easter, what were we excited about? Right, that Jesus is alive. But we live here and now, not back when Jesus was on earth, and we don't see Jesus. We can't see Jesus as a human, but we can feel Jesus. We can see things that we know are from God around us but we don't see Jesus in person. That's because God sent the Holy Spirit to live with us. The Holy Spirit is with us at all times. We can't see the Holy Spirit. We can't feel the Holy Spirit, unless you talk about feeling in your heart, feeling with love and happiness. So that's what we're gonna talk about today, is that God sent the Holy Spirit to be with us, to be our helper, to help us connect with God. Our rural friend kids, they are in Sunday school today, but they have a substitute teacher. Let's see who's there to teach them today. Good morning, everyone. I have some very exciting news. Miss Jane is out of town this weekend. And you're excited that she's gone. What did Miss Jane ever do to you? Victor, I'm excited because you have a very special substitute teacher. Holly Spirio. Holly Spirio? Who's that? Hello, oh. children. I am Holly Spirio, Sunday school instructor extraordinaire. How did... Did you just pass through the ceiling? She's a ghost! Nonsense. I'm a person, just like all of you. Except I enter rooms through holes in the ceiling. What hole in the ceiling? That one, right there. That wasn't there a second ago! Pay attention to Holly Spirio, everyone. She helped me become the Christian I am today. And she's here to do the same for you. And how is she going to do that? By being your advocate. What's an advocate? What is an advocate, you say? An advocate. Well, I'll tell you. If I had to, it would be so easy to describe. Advocates will help you and their counsel will always ring true. Advocates will always be your guide. Roxy, take the bridge. Advocates will advocate that this advocate is never late. Her judgment and advice is always sound. You can never lose your advocate, though life What is going on? Where is this music coming from? Ada? Otto? I think Holly Spirio might be the Holy Spirit. Holly the Holy Spirit? <laughs> Come on, Victor. No, think about it. Holly says that she is our advocate, just like the Holy Spirit. Also, Holly says that she will help guide us towards God, again, like the Holy Spirit. Also, Holly might have flown here, which might be like the Holy Spirit. Also, her name is Holly Spirio. That's two letters away from Holy Spirit. Ada, tell him why he's wrong. I don't know, Otto. Victor sounds kind of convincing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how delightful. Um, now, children, are you ready for me to begin advocating? Cut the butter, Holly. We want answers. Now. One, are you the Holy Spirit? 
Two, prove you're not the Holy Spirit. And three, we know you're the Holy Spirit, so just come clean now or face the consequences. <laughs> what? Why is she laughing? Um. Oh, Victor, I'm not the Holy Spirit. For you see, all the work I do, that's merely the Holy Spirit working through me. But why can you fly? And make holes appear in the ceiling? And inspire others to break into song? Because I'm British, Otto. Ah, uh, see? That makes sense. Yes, it does. Because... You can never lose your advocate, though life may throw you in a pit. Your advocate is sure to be around. So Victor thought Holly was there as the Holy Spirit that they could see. But we can't see the Holy Spirit. We can see the things that God has done with people and helped people do, we can see those outcomes. We can see nature and the sunsets and then the birds and animals. We can see the magnificent things God created, but we can't see the Holy Spirit. But why did Victor think that she was the Holy Spirit? Was it because she was there to help them? Just like Jesus said, the Holy Spirit is here with us to help us connect with God. Let's read our Bible story. I have our Bible and it's the World Story Bible. Let's see. Our Bible story is called Jesus' Spirit Will Come. And you can find this story in your Bible. It's in John 14, verses 15 through 21. The disciples stretched and rubbed their full stomachs after a big, delicious supper. Jesus stood to share some important news. Soon, my friends, I won't be with you any longer. The disciples froze in place. They were shocked. Don't leave us, they exclaimed. Stay with us. Jesus assured them, I won't leave you all alone. I will ask my Father to send the Holy Spirit who will be with you forever. John moved closer to Jesus, but we love you. You love me, said Jesus, whenever you keep my commandments. What if we forget how, asked James. Our world friend says, if James was worried he would forget something, he should just write it down. That's what works for me. Jesus smiled. Don't be afraid. My spirit will live with you and be in you. Andrew paced the floor. We will be able to see your spirit? No, Jesus answered. You will not be able to see my spirit. Then how will we know it's there? asked Thomas. You will know because you'll feel it. My spirit will live inside you. My spirit will help you love and care for others just the way I do. The disciples whispered to each other, I can't imagine life without Jesus here with us. What if I forget about him? Jesus didn't want his disciples to worry. Remember, I love everyone and my spirit will stay and help. Help everyone who loves me. Our friends say, If Jesus will be around but you can't see him, does that mean he's invisible? Well, kind of, but more like his spirit is with each of us. So Jesus told his friends that he couldn't stay with them forever. Oh, I bet they were nervous and scared and sad. That's how I would feel. I wonder if that's how you would feel. Well, how can we see the Holy Spirit? Because we've decided that you cannot see God or Jesus right here with us, but we can see Jesus in the things that people do for us, the things that people do for each other, or the things that you can do. Because that's what Jesus wants us to do, is to help others. So today, your job today is to do something for someone or make a card or a picture to brighten somebody's day, maybe help somebody. You could help somebody in your family unload the dishwasher or clear off the table or set the table before a meal. You could help somebody by opening a door or giving a hug. Or sometimes people just need to be listened to. 
to feel heard. So that's your job today. Well, my friends, thank you for joining me and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.